Here they want us to simplify. Okay, so can you see that we are going to multiply one, two, three things together, three main parts. You can only multiply two parts at a time, okay? And you are allowed to choose whichever two parts you want to do first. What I like to do is I'm going to go and do those two parts. So I'm just going to let the minus 3a chill over there, and then I'm going to go multiply those two brackets together. Now you can do that however you want, but one of the more popular methods is FOIL, where the F stands for the first one in this bracket and the first one in that bracket. So if you multiply those, you get 2a squared. Then we do the O, which stands for outside. So it's the outside one in this one and the outside one in that one. So what do we mean by the outside? It means the two on the outer edge. So there and there. So what would happen if you multiply A and negative B squared? Well, that'll just give you negative A, B squared. Now we're going to do the I. The I stands for the inside. So it's the inside ones. It's those two over there. So that's going to give you 2AB. And then the L stands for the last. So it's the last one in this bracket, and it's the last one in this bracket. That'll give you negative, because you're multiplying a negative over here, B to the power of 3, because B multiplied by B squared is B3. Okay, nice. Then I would ask you to quickly just look over here. Are any of the terms the same? No, that's totally different to that, which is totally different to that, which is totally different to that. Okay, so we've multiplied these two together. Now the last step is to take this one and now multiply it inside. Then we have technically multiplied everything. Okay, so I'm going to start with this part here. That's going to give you negative 6a3. Why? Because... 3 times 2 is 6, but there's a negative over there, whoops. And then a and a2 gives you a3 when you're multiplying. For this next one, it's negative times a negative. That makes a positive. 3a. Now, how many a's are there? Well, there's a 1 and there's a 1, so that's going to be a2. And then there's a b squared over there. Okay, now we're going to go all the way to there, so that's going to be negative 6 a squared b. Why a squared? Because there's an a and an a. Now the last part is this one and this one. That'll be a positive because a negative and a negative is a positive. And it's going to be a 3ab3. Quickly scan over here. Are any of these the same? No, they're not. So there's your answer.